They have full control already. Anbox has completely abandoned it with really only Poach being here for the information. That's their opportunity. Owl drone trying to make their way on. It's not as high as Poach anticipated, so instead he's going to take on a little bit of damage. Still a four on four. Moose, what a dart. That's going to get so much information. Two players in that back line. And of course, there's more. All four players for Anbox trying to make their way up towards heaven. Your boy Dre with a frenzy instantly traded out. Oh, watch out for a proto, but not only that, but the crossfire and hell. Stellar's going to be able to get the frag. Still one player remaining. It's none other than Seb. The turret is down. Seb can't go for the wide swing anymore. There's a player trying to make his way to the right. So much noise being made by Stellar Action. On a third here, Moose. Great owl drone, but it's such an aggressive stance from Ye. And it might have just all gone backfired on him. Prado able to find the double trade back. A little bit of a late smoke from Boy doesn't help save his teammate. LG, despite that early aggression, it's been quelled in Anbox. They won't be able to find much except for a single frag. Unless Dre picked up his life here. He does, Android. That's a free rifle if he wants to go for it. But he knows it's better to just go down and... Get the economic boost and box. They won't find their first, but they've done enough to, I think, scare off LG just a little bit. 3 0 as LG get underway on the attack. That late lurk towards B Links. They knew mid was clear after the peak. And Android, he'll be gunned oh. down by a proto. There he comes to the scene. You don't even know where a proto has come from. That's the question because no eyes have been put on him. Util to prevent anyone from rotating to market. They know where the majority of these players are going to be now. Smokes down. Paranoia even available, I think, still for Stellar to utilize. So it should be a clean sight take regardless of what oh happens. And there's only a couple seconds left on the clock. And they're doing everything they can to muscle their way on in. But boy! What a lockdown from him alongside Seb to hold down the B site. And Box get their first in. Do they have the capabilities to force them out of the angle? No, they don't, because now the lockdown's removed. And yay, it would pick up the first. Trades not available as Boy takes down another. Spike will finally go down, but it's Seb and Boy putting on such a flawless hold towards Garden. And Anbox pick up a sec. With by Poach. And boy, but it's so slow for LG. Showstopper to go in. It launches onto one. After his death, he's able to get the frag. But now there's so much more going down. It's now just Android left in a 1v3. It's not done. As you said, broke my one rule of speaking in absolutes. But Android, this one seems a, a little bit too difficult. Full util, however, could make this winnable. Here you go, Android. 1v3. These are the situations that he can't thrive in holding towards cat he's one man he has support from one but it is out towards heaven paranoia to try and stop them he's good for one smoke should be dropped if he can get it in time but dre ensures that won't be happening four oh versus five my. but just like that it's android again aim is robotic in the last and here it is once more should be tied up four v2 or hunters three but can they even get the spike down that's the question it's tough but in comes coach Doctor. A little bit of salt oh, on the Jesus. wounds. He's going to be able to take down Thief. And now Moose has to pop up. 1v4. His head has to be on a swing. It would be close right outside of B main. A fake lockdown from Abrado of all things. But no one's taking the bait here. No one on Anabox is buying into this one. Two players in the backside. It's Android instead. One's been revealed. Curveball goes out. But yay. He's dashed all the way on over My to find God. two. We caught the last second POV and you see him flying straight on in. And now Stellar has lost. He doesn't know what to do. He's alone on the site and Android makes sure he goes down. It's just a Proto in the clutch and a Proto isn't going to be enough. Seven. Uh, you do have 5v3 now. It was easy peasy making their way on site. I mean, we've seen this so many times already. Just from Anbox in that first half, just holding onto a couple of anchors towards site, it just gets broken down in an instant, considering the fact of how fast you can actually make your way on site. Easily overwhelmable, and that's exactly what happens. LG now down to three players trying to make their way back in. Two from uh, two coming in from spawn and one coming in from main. Oh, it's a little bit tough too. Good headshot angle coming in from boy has to get this frag, but it said it's Android helping out. A couple of bullets through that wall. None of them actually connecting, but boy oh. still trying to go pretty nuts. Oh my god, boy! <laughs> Thought he was gonna uh, get it. Yeah, the round's done and dusted, but man, oh man. And Some time, and they even still have poached to cut off mid rotation as well. If he's good enough to win these fights. 
Going to the front lines. Yeah, no, that's a beautiful spot coming in from Frodo. He has that first contact and just wide swings off of it. So going to be in the back of sight, but... Oh, my stellar! What? Frodo! What on earth? Right outside the mouth of a main. Android, is he ready for this? He's got to frag out here, but he gets the no first trade way. good for the second. They don't do this again. Surely not. <laughs> no way we get three straight ecos, right? It's just... It's not possible. I wouldn't call it an eco either. Here, rifles. I don't know. I'm just trying to say anything I can to really justify what's going on here in the server because 40 seconds left and Anbox stuck up against the ropes off of what was a very unorthodox take of a main. 30 seconds left. I mean, you don't really see that all too much. I mean, you, you mainly see it very early on in the round just trying to get a first contact from the bay main. But they end up doing it late and it works out perfectly in their favor. They get two out of it and now all the space in the world. But speaking of space, LG is giving a lot of it. This A site is mainly for the taking, but it's really just hidden positions. No way they try to go for this with 10 seconds left. And no way it's working. Four seconds Spike, left. No, no, time. no Spike. Oh, man. Three kills. It doesn't matter. It's unbelievable. The end box. They just built their way on site. And off his opponents. Just like that, yeah, you get him in for a dash. Smoke's down. Is he ready to explode, though? Terret spots him out. He's going down to the Nano Swarm. They know where they're all at. Yay! No way he can recover this! Moose finally with the trade. But he's stuck in a cubby, and Stellar's arrived to the scene. So clean of a hold by LG. And the spike down in the middle of nowhere. And Bucks have to walk in treacherous territory to get it back. But there's a flank. There is one man. Seb, good for the flank. 2v3. And just like that, and Bucks have got the man advantage back on their side. Uh, man advantage, but you got a moose on site. Massive oh start. He God. gets the kill and just like that. It's flipped on its head Android has to go for the 1v2 and it doesn't matter It's a that's the site that Anabox looking to hit Android needs one kill to get the run it back Hunter Fury ready to clear out the site if they need to smoke down to their left paranoia to the back site and a flash to go in Quick dash up, but it's stellar to find the first they're jumping through smokes and thief sitting underneath shut down by poach needed to land a headshot but wasn't meant to be still a three on three with moose's train back it's coming close but the spike is down but there is a lockdown available which it looks like a protos charging on up no way lockdown on in no way they could stop it now they would need to at least try to take back this cat area but it simply won't happen they give it up Spike down and actually someone does get detained. That's a little bit unfortunate. So now they have to go into a two on three. Yeah, he does get the frag back. Boy with one, but your boy Dre on the front lines has to go massive. He walks right into the crossfire though. And Buck should be looking to cancel out of this one. There's no way, right? But they have more than enough time. But LG, they're really holding down for what would be a spawn take and it's working. Oh, what? Oh, they just beamed through the smoke. All right, Stellar with a crossfire too, and there you go. Now it's gonna be the B site, trying to get taken. Stellar had a good paranoia, but couldn't do anything off of it. No way. Where is he trying to teleport? Oh, he's teleporting back over towards me. Maybe, but it doesn't matter. A Peroto shuts down the site all by himself. Thirty seconds left. One player remaining. It's Android. Twenty-five seconds. Three more players. There's a player in B main, and he has no clue. Zero. It's an off angle. They saw the turret, but that is so clever. So, so smart from the side of Anbox. Will shut down. No chance. Yay, Through shuts down a proto, but still a five versus four. Hunter Siri gives them nothing, and they cancel again. I Stopped exactly their own tracks by themselves. Feral Theft won't be as effective, but a TB all the way to the A site. Boy is going to try and get all this aggression, all this positional advantage to give his team the chance in and box they're not even hurrying towards a lg they're not biting into it they know this is a patient team and and box taking their time but the spike dropped stellar looking for a little bit more but it's boy that could win them the round we still have oh, hold on there you go boy opens things up for and box and essentially What's the Boya sent in, I think by Stellar from the back of A main, but that's going to take some time for the spike to get down, but he instead decides to take a quick shadow step. Android up top, 
Not able to deny anything. Blaze Wall is all he's got. No more flashes. Needs a frag, and he's got one. One more to the hot hand. But he goes down before he can even steam keep at that point. Poach with a classic trade. It's Airbox. So far, reign supreme on the retake, but your boy Dre, he's alone in this site, Gus. There is one towards the gen, but now he is truly alone, and alone is when they do their best work. Your boy Dre picking up the pace. Another kill for Moose. It's a two new kid that might just clutch this out, but it's oh Yay my. that drops into the site. 1v1. He knows where he is. He's got the angle, and Moose has got the kill. 13. Go down. Ye is just trying to sell a fake. We've seen this time and time again from Ye. A fake dash as well. That is clean. He's even drawn out a paranoia. This could be massive as you already see Thief starting to rotate. And now Dre not going to be mauling it out, but he gets one kill. Where did the nades come in? He doesn't need them. Oh this is the closer they needed. Ye on this late lurk. And a one versus four. Ten seconds left. We talked about the time and there isn't enough for Anbok. LG Luminosity. They completely evaded. Not only that, but the alarm bot doesn't hit. All of this util used up by the Killjoy early on is just getting totally evaded. So now in comes your boy Dre, trying to get a huge frag onto Poach. And not only that, but Thief gets one back. Three kills, three players, all too easy for LG thus far. But there's still two in the back of sight. One more player remaining, and he's just going to get pinched down. Luminosity. Even better, Thief and a proto. Such a deadly duo. So much praise is... Like they were the core, the heart, and the soul of this roster, headed by Stellar, but it's a fast play. A proto. Ooh. So much patience. Might giving himself up early, and he might even get more. Poach is finally going to trade him out, but there is so much damage done just by a proto alone. Doing a really good job of holding them back. It's now LG. Find themselves in a weird position. Whoa. What? From where did Moose come from to get a spray like that? Spike drop gust while well, the wall is up. It's starting to crumble here for Handbox as Moose finds a second frag. Two versus one. Now make it a 1v1. Can Moose close this out? He's got the swing and he's got oh the third my. frag. So clean from Moose. And they've won there. Oh, they love to cancel on us. But this is not an event you should be looking to go towards. Steve dismissing on out of there. Can he get out of there in time? Yes, he can. Fault line, but he's got so many players coming. And he still gets another frag. Dismissing on out. Again, how did you put it, Gus? A lock jaw hold. One player left is being watched already. It's Seb to go down and LG to find four. So quick, so clean. And Anabox, now they've got the focus and attention solely because it's going to be a B split. Thief, the only one to hold this one down. Joe Sapper goes down and down goes one. It's a trade back and forth for four versus three. Moose is here, but it's a little bit too late and he'll have to play retake with the rest of his team now. Ooh, Viper, Viper ult. ult. Down. Well, he is an okay. He's just gonna counteract it. Viper ult plus lockdown. That perfectly counteracts it. Has to go all the way back over towards main. Might be enough time. Has to get back into that cloud immediately. But Poach is out of there. It's gonna be gone. It's gone. It's done and dusted. And not only that, but the rolling thunder makes his way in. A proto gets hit. Your boy Drake with a return frag. Moose trying to hold it down. But Anbox some way. Some sort of frag over towards the ramp, but he ends up getting covered up by the cloud. Still one in the back of sight over towards elbow. A proto. This is massive. Gonna be able to get one. No overwhelming flank towards that elbow area. So instead he's just watching up for Android. What on earth was that wide swing? Spike planted. 2v3. Revive now available, Stiller. Exactly that. He wants to find a revive, but there's no one really there. He would have to go for a revive and elbow more than anything. It's disastrous, and there just isn't enough space for him. So instead, Anbox, the sticking through, uh, sticking to their guns. Only like that, but a big crossfire. But oh, could Looking be able to swing. use the revive. I was about to say, use it as a fake, but they're still going in off the 3v3. In comes Deep, gonna be able to get one. Has to get a 3v3. Oh! He gets it. Has to go for the defuse. Time. Quickly. Does no he have time. time. No. No, he doesn't. Are you kidding me? What a 3k from Thief. But angle and Stellar's being drawn away. It's down to Thief here and Anbox or Android is going to clear the angle. But no, Thief is good for one. Where's the trade back going up and down the zip line? And oh, Stellar, he's actually won the duel. Four versus three. Wall up to keep them from splitting back to B. They're forcing them onto this A site. And there's only one man, Moose. I guess he's an animal in this case. 
they're pushing into spawn and box. Even when forced with only one option, they take the harder way out. Of that animalistic behavior of his. He has to go absolutely oh. wild, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. And box, they're just gonna get exposed spike. from the spot hole. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, That's so funny. Boy, uh, okay. <laughs> That's wild. That's crazy. 3v1. Seb with 20 seconds left. He's walking right into what would be a crossfire, and he has no clue. A proto is here. Five to five with a gun, and he's got no idea this hit is going to be coming. Turret goes off. Lockdown goes down. Swarms oh, that's go tough. out, and that'll hold them back. They're going to try to post the issue. Rolling Thunder in. No kills. He's bounced into their arms. LG now in a five versus three, and that lockdown gets nothing. Yeah, I was about to say, that's oh. tough, uh, it's such a tough position to actually go for, but Thief, he's out of there. Showstopper doesn't matter. Not only that, but a quick revival right in the middle of the doorway. And now they bolster up to four. Out of nowhere, the Una reverse card is placed right down on the table. And this is actually turning into an advantage for LG. Two players, oh my in hell. Your boy Dre. That slick little tap, he's going for another one. There's still one more in hell. They know exactly where it is. Thief, you legend. Four kills for him on the round. LG have tied up the half six to six. You said it, Gus. You said it. You can never might be in Box's last situation or last chance to really get themselves some ground onto LG. Oh, Thief. He loves his position. Oh, the boom, but that's a little bit unfortunate. After shock, that's a big chunk of damage off of him, and he doesn't even get that kill, so there's no overkill. Stellar's still in that fact away from him. Ye nearly gets caught in the slower. That could have been catastrophic damage, but he's able to keep himself intact for now. And maybe even gets a line up, your boy Dre. Bulldog, who let the dog out, your boy Dre? Now they pounce onto the B site. It is so quick. There's only one player here. Boy, might have to take the hard way out, but he's been cornered. He's been flustered. He gets one, tries to get out, and he's successful in doing so. No he's way. still got 150 HP. Paranoia into the back lines, but it's a 4v3 in this position. It's going to be massive for the retake. Post up two smokes. In front of main, it could be potential for a teleport. But even then, the rest of the inbox are actually having a little One bit of issues. Remaining. Actually trying to make their way back in, but there you go. Boy just explodes. Makes his way out of B main. In Paranoia as well from Andbox to try and push any of them back. I think this is a good combo. I finally like, I'm finally understanding what the goal is here. And we've seen Coach use the ultimate here as well. He might need to call upon it, but instead doesn't use it. A little bit too late. You might get caught out mid ult usage and Coach doesn't seem to need it. Jeez. Quick 3k from the two of them. That is so, so fast. LG, just like that dismantled Poach. And boy, combining for a triple just like that. It's down to just two, but it's not out of question. It's Thief and it's Moose. He's already got one. It's down to just two, Gus, and anything is possible in the hands of the Moose. More than possible does get a dink up in heaven, but that's the spike down and ramp. More than enough time, though. In comes oh, Thief with a wide no. swing. This want? guy is on something else. Still making his way through. He assumes that his opponent is in heaven, but yay! Left. And box, they've been proficient off the retakes, but this one might be a little bit too tall of a task. LG, they've been real good in terms of A-holds, but it's going to come down to what would be oh. situations like that. Oh my, rolling thunder in the back of side too. He doesn't get Stellar. hit. Stellar, whoa, whoa, how did Stellar not get hit? That is insane. All right, Moose, last one remaining in a 1v2. Going to be able to get the kill onto Boy. Still one remaining, just biding his time. Ye has nothing to work with. And not only that, but Moose is just Moose. biding his time, just going for a couple of strafe jumps. Moose. It's so ballsy, but he's played the time right. LG won the round. Uh, again, I just need to ask, how in the world does that Rolling Thunder not hit? Gonna run out of time and oh poach what's up 3k immediately all caps when you write his name this man is on a is on a drive to get handbox back into this game on
And still a two-man crossfire, but it's very much conservative. One oh, in the no. back of the elbow. Your boy Dre, he's going hunting. He's already isolated back into elbow, but it doesn't matter. Yay. He is going to go down to Stellar. Still, the teleport gets a little bit of information, but it doesn't matter. Android around the corner. Still has the showstopper. There you go. Gets another kill with a showstopper. Still one more in heaven. Proto trying to approach. 1v3. And Boxer one kill away from overtime. 15 seconds left. You can put a stamp on it. We're going to overtime. Clearly, but same thing with LG. They're not committed to anything. They're playing this one perfectly. Backs away. Three versus four after two kills for LG. They double back towards A, Gus. It cannot be closer. There's one player here. It has to be Seb. The tripwires are up and Poach not too far. Two men over towards heaven, but this time... Poach is actually waiting up on an elevator lurk. There's an elevator flank in general. If anyone actually wants to make their way into heaven. So instead, LG just have an empty spot here on site and wow what a cheeky cheeky tripwire and Seb gets himself too the round is equalized of heroics from Seb and really just crafty usage of the tripwire and cyber cage perfectly through the smoke but now it has to be the dynamic duo stellar is on the front lines Making his way forward, already gets damage. Android with a kill. Oh! Yo boy, Dre closes it out. And LG, they pull off the upset.